22-year-old John Gaddy and 17-year-old Deron Lowe were arrested and lodged at the Alpena County Jail after the drug deal went south. After discovering they were sold salt in place of methamphetamine, one of the women drove her car into the back of the car of Lowe and Gaddy. According to Alpena attorney Denise Burke, the prosecutor has absolute discretion as to who to charge and who not to charge. Burke explains why an attorney may not pursue certain criminal charges. In the past, you might have a prosecutor that doesn't like rape cases. They just don't want to do rape cases that make them uncomfortable. If a rape case come in, they can say, no, I, I don't want to prosecute that. They don't have to prosecute it. I mean, they should. They should follow the law because um, that's their job, but they don't have to. Burke says the driver could have been charged with felonious assault as the car was intentionally used as a dangerous weapon. They also could have been charged with soliciting to buy an illegal substance even though it was salt that they purchased. Burke says one of the men involved in the case is charged as a habitual offender because of his four other felony offenses. Burke explained that one of the women involved has a case in Austinique for possessing methamphetamine back in May of 2020. She is also a fourth offender and faces a 10-year felony. Burke explains what the prosecutor's options could have been. What they could have done, because this happened before that incident, she wasn't in jail she was out on bond they should have violated her right away and had her back in jail she's not in jail right now um, you can look at the inmates and she's not there why i don't know lowe is out on bail while gaddy remains lodged at the alpena county jail